Hi, hello guys, and uh, thanks for tuning into the channel again. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about luggage bags, and in particular, what luggage bag to go for. There's, um, there seems to be hundreds out there on the market, and they talk about different cubic capacities, different sizes, long bags, tall bags. But what bag is actually right for, for you, and what bag is, is right for, for what you want to do, and how much you want to get um, packed into it. Um, so I've actually bought myself some, some bags, I did a lot of research, and and um, one of the companies that I looked at was um, Savelman and they looked um, pretty good, pretty good bags. And there's two in particular I've gone for, which is the, the long bag and also then a roll bag that sits to the top of that. Um, and they're gonna fit onto the back here, nicely onto the, uh, the racks that I've had fitted on, which you can see that at uh, another video. Um, so um, let's go over to the bench and let's have a look at the bags and uh, look at them in a bit more closer detail. Okay, so these are the two bags that I that I went for, which is the uh, the Salomon and this these bags here. This one is the TS3200 Deluxe. Um, this slightly like they've got these separate pockets and expandable pockets as well. Um, then the second bag that I bought, which is the roll bag that sits on the on the top um, or straps onto the top. Uh, this one is the R1300 XLE. Um, so uh, we'll talk about that one in a in a little while. But first of all, this is the 32. And this is really uh, nice and, and neat. This um, this bag. There's uh, loads of different pockets in here, and don't forget, there's, there's nothing in these at the moment. These are just empty, um, so they're constructed quite well, and they're quite rigid, so they don't collapse. They're not going to fall down when nothing's in them. Um, you've got these two pockets at the side here, um, as your bike rack sits underneath there. Your luggage rack sits underneath. Um, then the space down here they haven't flattened that down they've allowed you to put some stuff in there and i reckon you can get a pair of trainers or something tucked down the side here uh, which is one of the items of clothing that uh, that i'll be taking with me when we go out um, so that's the top piece you've also got a netted piece here this doesn't expand um, this is just a, a net piece um, when i opened the box up there was actually a bag inside there which is a waterproof bag that goes over the whole uh, the whole lot um, but you could put some clothing into there if you if you wanted to. Um, you've got some straps on the top here. Um, these straps you can put a tent or something on the top of there and adjust these and, and close those up and hold a tent onto there. I won't be doing that because I'll be putting that smaller bag on top of these. Uh, you've got another bag uh, to the side here uh, with loads of space. You've got zip pockets at the side here. Got more zip pockets there. Uh, you've got elasticated pockets to the side here. Um, one of these bags, which I think is this one here, um, is the expandable bag. So when that zips up, it actually goes out further and increases the capacity inside. Um, so that's um, extremely handy. I'm sure that uh, the wife will get that filled up when we when we go away for the weekends. Um, on the other side here, again, we've got a, a second bag, um, pocket and holders, and a zip out, pull out pocket here, which you can get a bottle of pop or something into there as you're driving, and you've got a bag here, another zip pocket here for, for some stuff, and oh, there's another zip pocket at the back here as well. Um, you can put uh, some your phone or something or some smaller items into into there. This bag on on this side is uh, is quite handy. This uh, unzips completely, and you can take this one off. And then you got some shoulder straps as well, so you can take that as a as a carry out bag. Um, you can leave that onto the bike or in the room. And then you've got to, you got a bag here that you can take with you. Um, so that's uh, that's quite. Uh, that's quite nifty. A lot of storage space um, in this bag here. A lot of storage space. Um, but we'll see a little later on in the video um, when I start to get some clothes into this bag. We can have a look just to see how much 3,200 cubic inch of capacity means from a clothing perspective. Because that's really what I wanted to know is how much clothing can I fit into this bag. Um, it sounds impressive, it looks impressive, but will it do the job? Um, so we'll, we'll get that one put onto the bike um, shortly and then we'll get it packed up and uh, see exactly what it'll, uh, what it'll hold. So the second bag uh, that I bought is the, the roll top bag. Um, you can actually just take this bag on its own if you wanted to. It does have a um, zip part here, a Velcro part that 
tucked around the back bike rest um, and then that will lock into place um, so that will give it some uh, some stability when it's on the bike you've also got some locking clips here so they go around to the luggage rack and that will hold itself secure on the luggage rack again like in the other bag you've got a zip top here uh, with some netting top and this netting top on this bag had the waterproof bag again for, for this smaller bag um, so that's uh, that's good uh, this bag expands out as well or decreases in size it's expanded at the moment so that zips down and, and closes down uh, this pocket here that's uh, got some more storage space in there as well and I think this one here closes down same as the other side So if you are going away for just um, just a one an overnighter, then it's uh, it's quite a decent um, overnight bag as well. You've got some uh, storage pockets inside the bag, elasticated pockets both sides. Um, but that's quite uh, that's quite a, a, a nice, neat, um, small bag, um, which quite easily, as you've seen already, expands out and doubles out into uh, into a larger roll bag. So that's, um, that's quite impressive. So we'll get these fitted onto the bike now and have a look um, how they go. I'm gonna fit them onto my um, Softail Heritage Classic bike, which is a 2018 um, bike, which has got the fixed um, sturdy side luggage racks. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll get it all fitted on and, uh, and have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so first off, we'll get the larger bag dropped on the back and that kind of sits um, really neatly onto, uh, onto here. Um, the luggage rack that I fitted on um, already is um, that kind of fits nice and snug uh, underneath there. Uh, okay, so you can see that fits quite nice and neatly into uh, onto that luggage rack there. And these side pockets here that, that come down, um, they kind of sit just above um, the actual luggage racks which are fitted onto the bike. So, uh, so that looks really that looks really neat. That does. I'm, I'm liking that already. Bags come with a load of straps as well. Um, and these straps you've actually got some of them have a double and some have a single connection um, so you've got these ones in particular which have a double connection um, so that enables um, the, the roping to go around and clip onto the back of the bag um, so uh, we have got some longer ones and we've got some shorter ones Okay, so we're kind of getting the idea of how these um, bags, how these bags will, will fit on. They just simply clip to the back here. I've gone around the indicator stalk here and back through one of the loops at the back here, which is the um, the holders for the actual luggage rack themselves. So it loops around them, which makes that quite solid. Now there's nothing in these at the moment, so they're gonna be a little bit droopy, they're not gonna be solid. Uh, but once they're packed out with clothes, then um, these are gonna fit quite um, quite snug and quite neat. Um, so that's, that's that one done. Then the 
clips at the back here that also go around um, that hold the back, uh, the, the bag at the back. Um, and then you've got more clips that actually go onto the, the top for, for these top ones as well. So we'll kind of soft fit that on uh, so you can have a look at, uh, give you an idea of how, what they look like. Um, so let's put the small one on. Okay, so this is the, uh, the small bag going on the top, and again, these have the plastic clips here, um, but they do have a female that side, and they have a male that side. Um, one of the things that I thought would happen is these double clips, that you'd be able to clip one onto here, and then a second one onto the double clip down here, um, allowing that bag to actually fix to this, but it doesn't. Um, and even if you'd use these pieces here, I guess you, you could fit that on there, but you've got to turn the bag around the opposite way because that's the male fit and that's the female fit. So the bag goes around the other way if you wanted to use these straps here. Um, yeah, so that's a bit, um, that, that could have been the opposite way around. That, uh, that would have been a lot better. Um, and there could have been a way of, of connecting these up but there isn't so um, what I have to do is put some um, one strap onto there go underneath this bag here and then come back round the other side and then loop up to where to the back of the backrest itself so then you've got a loop that comes all the way around and then that will clip onto the back here which will hold the bag still um, and then these side bags the side pockets here you can actually come up and through, through the D-ring, through that D-ring, and onto the handle there. And then we can clip these together. So that will clip and hold there. And again, when that's full of clothing, that will stop the bag from sliding side to side. And then when the clips come around here, and they come all the way around back onto here and hold onto there, that's going to stop the bag from going backwards or forwards. Um, there's nothing in these bags, these are empty, so it doesn't kind of um, allow for what it would be like in real life when both these bags are full, that's going to be quite solid and quite rigid. Um, but yeah, I like these bags actually. These are these are really good uh, good quality bags, and I say they're uh, Salomon bags. Um, it's the R1300 XLE top and the TS3200E um, bottom. So uh, get yourself a set of these. Okay, so these are the bags that I that I bought. So let's um, have a look just to see exactly how much clothing you can fit into these bags. So we've got the pyjamas, we've got t-shirts, uh, this is mine and the wife's clothes, not just mine, because she went, uh, we're going away for, or well, went away for a weekend. So we've got a pair of jeans, and the top, I think the wife took far too many clothes. So on a lot of these um, YouTube videos, they'll talk to you about the size and tell you what size that you've actually, or what capacity each of these bags will take, but that doesn't actually tell you what clothes you can actually fit in, fit in there. I mean, these are um, 3,200 cubic inch. I mean, what does 3,200 cubic inch look like? Um, well, this is looking quite impressive, actually. There's enough, there's enough clothes there for a week. And I'll show you what I, what I want to show you here actually is something that's quite uh, quite novel. These pocket pieces here, which uh, lip down um, over the side of the bike, you can actually fit a pair of trainers um, tucked into the side here. So you've got one, you've got one shoe that drops into here, and you've got another shoe that will drop into here in this side. So uh, I mean that's quite uh, that's quite nifty and quite uh, quite neat that is. I really uh, I really like that about the bags.
and that's just that's just the center compartment that we've got um, fitted here uh, full of clothes um, that doesn't actually include the side pockets as well dress outfit that we wore for the uh, for the weekend somewhere for your drinking bottles as well that's quite, quite, quite a, neat, uh, a neat idea and your sweets well I think that's it that's everything out of that's everything out of that bag that, that's what 3200 cubic inch looks like of clothing um, that's probably about four days worth of, uh, of, of clothes not just a weekend's worth of clothes um, so that big bag there is quite impressive but you know what even got the smaller bag as well that, um, that sat on top and in here you can pack another jumper another jumper another jumper I haven't even filled that bag there that's this side pocket here there's, there's nothing actually in there other than a, a USB cable stuff in here so that's that one empty now as well so that's pretty impressive when you look at the amount of clothes that you can actually get in these two bags that just sit at the back um, and that's not without putting anything in the actual side luggage um, uh, bags as well that's on the bike so um, I'm quite pleased with that Okay guys, so that's it for tonight. Thanks for, for watching. Um, you can see I really like those uh, Salomon uh, bags and they uh, hold a lot of clothes, a lot more clothes in there than what I'd um, first of all anticipated. Um, but they're really good bags. So um, in the comments below, why don't you put down on there what uh, luggage bags that you use on your particular bike. Um, and uh, let's um, get some sharing out there and see what's, uh, what are going to be the best for, for everybody. Um, Okay, so as I say, that's it from me. So if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'll catch you soon. Bye.